Hey guys, welcome back to Roger Brooks Films. Whilst we're in the middle or two thirds of the way through a bitterly cold winter here in Australia, not compared to you guys in the US or uh, Europe, those parts of the world, but it's still bitterly cold for us Aussies here in Australia. Uh, we are experiencing some beautiful winter sun in the middle part of each day. And just a few days ago, I decided to go and experience some of that at Newcastle Beach. Now, Newcastle is in the Hunter region of New South Wales in Australia, approximately two hours north of Sydney. Uh, just one hour north of where I live right here on the central coast of New South Wales. Beautiful beaches, some fascinating old buildings and just a lovely area to visit or live locally if that's what you do. Uh, now I decided to take the X-Pro3 out with me on this day with the 18mm f2 lens. Um, the idea was to just go and hang about and check out the cafe opposing the beach and just the general uh, urban environment. Uh, which has been improved upon much in recent years by the council. Fantastic job that they've done. Anyway, like I said, a beautiful winter sun day. Let's go and check out some of the local community in Newcastle. So upon arrival, I decided to take a few setup shots of the local area. And as I turned around, I saw this magnificent late 60s Holden HR Ute who could resist taking a picture of that. Right here you see all the people outside the cafe right on Newcastle Beach, a very popular spot, especially on a nice winter sunny day like this, with the most magnificent toasted Reuben you've ever had in your life. So this is kind of an interesting frame. Initially I was standing over on the opposite side to where I was here. I saw the young kid jump up onto the railing and then start climbing all over that beach safety sign uh, that was enough for me to become interested and see if something else could enter the frame I saw this gentleman with the old style hat entering from the right uh, took a number of shots as he entered the frame and then uh, as he was beginning to exit the frame in the end the one with him exiting the frame with his hand over his mouth was the most interesting not only because the light was hitting him better than it was a few meters earlier uh, but it also kind of lines up on an almost 45 degree angle going back towards the sign and the kid. With frames like these I like to use the people in the foreground there enjoying the cafe with a, almost like a leading line or a window through the centre there to the dog and the four guys or four or five guys chatting away there uh, overlooking the beach. So this image actually is my favourite image from the shoot and it was the only image that I produced in colour from the day and I think the vibrant colours, particularly of the young girl in the centre or almost the centre of the frame, uh, almost begs for it to be in colour. But I immediately identified that the light was falling over the top of the building down in front of the cafe and this uh, young surfer in the right hand side of the frame was standing there with the light beautifully falling across his shoulders whilst his head and the lower part of his uh, torso and the rest of his body remained in complete shadow which I found fascinating and therefore my eyes immediately drew across his back and then into the centre of the frame where the young girl is there in a very vibrant outfit with a father not too far behind in tow. Uh, you've got the gentleman sitting down in the background with the black and red checked shirt with the orange hat. You've got the beautiful Newcastle Beach in the background and uh, cafe patrons on the left hand side drinking coffee there. So uh, to my mind this uh, has plenty of depth and plenty of uh, layers in this image and um, I just think the light is falling in such a beautiful way that it's almost like the young girl is centre stage but there is enough on each side of the frame to allow your eyes to move around and get something out of it. I also produced a copy in black and white so let me know what you think your favourite is, colour or the black and white version.
So this one here is one of my favorite from the short session. Uh, I like the juxtaposition of the shadows and highlights here. Now, uh, the gentleman on the left, uh, well lit, was actually uh, waiting for his order from the cafe. And I think the gentleman on the right with the hat on, the uh, the more brim, wide brim hat, is uh, is exiting either the toilet area or, or the cafe itself. But I love the way that he is in dark shadow with the cloud above him and uh, looking forward towards the guy in the light. And it almost looks like it's a face-off uh, and it's a staring contest. And uh, I think if you focus on both of those characters and also take into account the, uh, the, the, the light and shadow contrast, it kind of tells uh, a little bit of a story which may or may not have been there. I just find it fascinating that they're, um, they're opposed to one another and look like uh, it's a complete stare-off. This one here is a fascinating shot as far as I'm concerned. I love the fact that the gentleman above, who was actually the partner of the woman down below him on the other side of the railing, he was pointing at something and uh, telling his uh, partner uh, what it was that he was looking at. But uh, I, I think the frame and the elements are, are pretty good. But just a, a couple of seconds earlier, the woman was looking more towards her left and the light was hitting her face much better than it was here. So I was really disappointed to miss that opportunity. But um, I still think this one worked out pretty well anyway. So approximately 200 metres south of where I was initially uh, outside the cafe at Newcastle Beach, I stumbled upon this fantastic skate park that they've developed there for the uh, for the local community. Gives it a real rustic uh, vibe. Uh, plenty of young kids around, but also uh, teenagers, as you can see, with their uh, with their skateboards and paraphernalia. Uh, just a real nice genuine feel to the area 